Hey guys, so I'm going to start off with a white gesso side and a black gesso side and three of these homemade sprays that I made. Here I have navy, I have some teal, and I have some magenta. And these are the Dr. Martin's ink that I just added with water and put in a spray bottle. And I'm just going to continue to blot up the color and I'm going to build it up as I go. I'm also going to put some shimmer in the background with the Heidi Swap Color Swap in navy. I'm going to blot this up because I really don't want it to be too dark. Here I'm using a script stamp and my Momento Lux ink in nautical blue to add some texture to my background. You get to see here quickly what the back looks like with some different sprays that I use. I don't really like the way it came out to learn, but hey, you live and you learn. But here's the front and what it looks like so far. So I found this mink foil in pink at Joann's on clearance. And I'm also going to use this fine tip glue pen from Martha Stewart. I'm going to try to mimic the look of sound waves. I'm going to go ahead and put a line right down the middle of my page. Now I'm going to cut off a piece of the at the foil and go ahead and place it over the dried glue. It's still tacky to the touch, but you let it dry. I'm going ahead and smooth it all out to try to make sure that you get foil over all pieces of the glue and you don't leave anything empty. And you can go ahead and touch up as needed, as you'll see me do here. Again, this is a bit of a close-up of what everything looks like so far. Next, I have these die cuts I caught from my quarter note cartridge from my Cricut, and I cut four of them to stack on top of each other. Here, I'm just going to go ahead and run one of those through my Xyron sticker maker so that I can have adhesive on the top of my die cut. And clearly, that's not going to fit. Okay, and here I'm going to try to find an empty spot on my rainbow foil from Deco Art that I actually can still use for this word.
going to smooth that all out and then go on ahead and peel it off. So now I'm going to go on ahead and clean up the edges and then I'm going to go on ahead and attach all of my die cuts together to make them into one so that it sticks up off the page. And I know, I know, I cheated a little bit on my own rules, but hey, this is an important word too. So now here's the final cut all together and I put it on a shadow background from the same die cut. Now I'm just going to go ahead and attach this one to my page. And once I do that, we can call this page finished. hope you guys enjoyed watching me create this third page please make sure to go watch my other pages please like this video subscribe and tell your friends have a great day bye